Okay, so good morning everyone. I'm very happy to be here in India, my first time ever. And uh, in a way it's a uh, closure because uh, when I just graduated from my school, homeopathic school, uh, this was like around 30, 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago, I, I just finished, it was, I, in Israel there was just simple school, very good one, but just school, and I, I went abroad to hear a seminar outside of Israel, and the first one was your seminar in Utrecht. It was many, many years ago, and I sat there and I was spellbound. Wow, that's where homeopathy can go. Wow, it was amazing. So, I thought, ah, yeah, we could fly. So I loved it. And I think it kind of, it, it got me started in a way. Because, ah, so you could, you could think freely. That was it. Not only the rules of classical homeopathy as it is, but there you could open the horizon. So it's full circle. So thank you. And, um, and then as I learned homeopathy, of course, we started to learn, to hear. We just heard in the world, Scholten and Jeremy and Shankaran were talking about the, the mineral table. And I thought, oh, there is order in, in homeopathy. Of course, I'm a botanist and ecologist, so there must be order in botany. It, I, I asked my teachers then, is there? And nobody gave an answer because no one in the world knew that. It was new. So I said, okay. I I just finished my uh, uh, second degree in, in ecology and I knew that I'm a good researcher, so I thought, I'll research it. I'll just ask myself. And I thought, oh, it's an easy question. But it took me about 10, more than 10 years just to begin to answer, to answer that. For 10 years, I was just collecting information, collecting data, just slowly understanding until I got to this simple chart. This is just a simple chart, but, or, or this is actually the botanical order. It is very simple, but actually to get to see, that to take these thousands and thousands of plants and press them into what we call a double, uh, a two-dimensional table, this took me 10 years. And then to fill it up with, with um, content, with meaning, took me another 20 years. <laughs> So it's, 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 a not, it's a long process of looking in, into everything. And it, it just like plants, it developed. I didn't come like, mm, fully into the understanding of the table. You see, now the book is 800 pages and 3 kilo, like a baby. But my first book in Hebrew was, had only 80 pages because that was how I understood it. The moment that I understood it, there is a order, I needed really to find it out. And then slowly, slowly, everything fitted in. I saw that in a way what I'm seeing is not another method. The table of plant you'd see is not another method. It's an approach of holding all our knowledge together. And, it, and you'll see that all the sensation method will very nicely fit in. But actually even Scholten method we come to the same conclusion. I often see that when he looks at plants and when I look at the remedy, we come to the same conclusion from different angles because it's just a, a way of looking at it. There's nothing deep in, in the end. We, it's like a, the binary and decimal system. You can do the same thing with it, but one is more useful for computers and one is more useful for everyday life. But the important thing was that it allowed me to use further information. Because oftentimes when a patient comes to you, it, they are not talking about their joint pain. They are talking about their heart pain. They give you a full life story that as a homeopath, oftentimes you just get this story. What? Ah, okay, this is it. That's... That's the story you are telling me. But in our Materia Medica, there is no place for such long stories. So we, we oftentimes don't use this information. We use bits and pieces of it. But if someone, if a woman tells me that she has been divorcing uh, 
three or four times, or that she has an abusive husband three times, or abusive parents and abusive uh, sister and then abusive husband. Isn't it as important as uh, craving for olives? At least. <laughs> And we, if someone says, I have a strong craving for olives, we would immediately look in the material medic, oh yes, this is an important symptom. But if, she's, if she tells me that she dreams about murders si since she was young, and indeed she remembers her previous life, isn't it as important? I want to use it. I want to use the life story uh, and even... And then later on, I, I want to use the, the life orientation that I see in patients. Because many times we sit with our patient and we consult them or we let them see their life in perspective. Do I want to use it? Do I want to do that? I do.